Hey guys, welcome back to my tutorials, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how we can start to create divs with some CSS. Now, divs and CSS go hand in hand, especially because when you're making a web page, you will be using divs everywhere. And each of these divs are going to have their own styling associated with them. But on top of that, you know, your main background color is going to be different. You're going to be having um, background colors for all sorts of different things. You're going to be having different kinds of CSS stylings for a whole variety of different um, selectors on your web page. Okay, so let's we may as well get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a div, and this div simply says, "Help, I'm trapped in a container." So if I to refresh the page now, okay, it says, "Help, I am trapped in a container." Now I need to give this actual. So to, in order to make this div a bit more. Uh, realistic, let me go ahead and give it some dimensions. And rather than putting the styling within the actual div, I'm going to put the styling into here in my style.css document. In order to do this, I'm going to be using the div selector because that is what we're going to be dealing with. Open by squi uh, open with squig squiggly brackets. And I'm going to give it some dimensions. So I want to say, uh, I want to give it the width of 300 pixels. And I'm going to give it a height of 300 pixels. Save this and refresh the page. And on top of this, I'm also going to give this a border of one pixel solid black. Okay, so now we can see where the actual uh, the actual size of this container on my screen. So it's going to be 300 by 300 pixels. If I can change this now to um, a different size if I'd like and accordingly it will change. So if I already change the width to something like 500, okay so now we've got more of a rectangle and if I were to put this to 200, as you can see the, um, the word container has now gone onto the next line because it can't fit into the remainder of the div and since it's stuck within these boundaries it is being trapped effectively. Another attribute we can start to use is something called background color. So I can say background color. I'm going to give this a background color of a bright blue color and I'm going to be using the hexadecimal color for this. Okay so it's hashtag 80D4FF if I were to go ahead and refresh my page. Now the whole container is colored in blue. Okay, now by being able to do this, this means now that I can go ahead and change all sorts of different things and give each div on their uh, each div their own styling. Currently, I have applied the styling to all possible divs. So if I were to go ahead and create another div, and if I were to refresh my page, so as you can see here, I've created a second div which says this is another container, and all the same stylings will now be applied to both of these divs. So if I were to refresh the page, directly below, as you can see, it says this is another container with the exact same styling because of the simple fact that I've applied this to all divs. Now there is a way which will allow me to only apply stylings to one potential div and not to the other or one particular paragraph and not to another. And this is where we're going to start to use um, classes and IDs. However, that's going to be for another tutorial. In my next tutorial, I'm going to be covering how we can start to set the background color and then also how we can use background images. Okay, so stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next video.